Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for March 15th. I'm going to read to you today from the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. God did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a herald of righteousness, with seven other persons, when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. This is the Word of God. And this is what Luther wrote about that Word of God. It is appalling that the whole human race except eight persons is destroyed in view of the fact that this was truly the golden age. For succeeding ages do not equal the old world in glory, greatness, and majesty. And if God visited with destruction his own perfect creation and the very glory of the human race, we have just cause for fear. In inflicting this punishment, God followed his own peculiar way Whatever is most exalted, he particularly overthrows and humiliates. He did not spare the sublimest creatures, the angels, nor the kings ruling his people, nor the firstborn of all times. But the more highly they were blessed with gifts, the more sternly he punished them when they began to misuse his gifts. As God, who is by nature most kind, cannot refrain from gracing and showering us with various gifts, so we cannot refrain from priding ourselves upon these gifts and flaunting them. Wretched is our life when we lack the gifts of God, but twice wretched is it when we have them, for they tend to make us doubly wicked. Such is the corruption of original sin, though all but believers are either unaware of its existence or regard it as a trivial thing. How property inflates pride, though it occupies relatively the lowest place among blessings. The rich, be they noblemen or peasants, deem other people as flies. To an even greater extent are the higher gifts abused, wisdom and righteousness. This was the sin of the primeval world. Among Cain's descendants were good and wise men, who nevertheless were wicked before God, for they prided themselves upon their gifts and despised God, the author. The old world was guilty, not only of sin against the second table of the commandments, but most of all sin against the first by making a fine but deceptive and false show of wisdom, godliness, and religion. As a result of the ungodliness and opposition to the first table, there followed that moral corruption of which Moses speaks, that people polluted themselves with all sorts of lust and afterward filled the world with oppression and bloodshed. Because the ungodly world had trampled both tables underfoot, God came to judge it, who is a consuming fire, and a jealous God. So it just goes back to Luther's explanation of the first commandment. We should fear, love, and trust God above all things, even his gifts. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, help us to be mindful of the good gifts that the Father of lights has showered down upon us. But help us not to trust in those things or to think that those are the things that make us who we are. It is at Christ at work within us, and you, his spirit, that makes all the difference. Help us to fear, love, and trust in you. For Christ's sake, we pray it. Amen. Thank you for joining me for reading the word with Luther today. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow.